find out how to create a sales page that's amazing, so do I. So let's learn some mind-blowing sales page techniques together. Hello, it's great to have you. I'm Roger with the localization and translation team here at Hotmart, and you're watching the Hotmart Masters Newscast, where we take an in-depth look at what's really happening in the digital product and e-learning world. Here, I'll share all the practical knowledge with you from the latest on what we've been learning during Hotmart Masters, our online free and global event with exclusive talks from major players in the digital market. Today, I'm going to tell you what I've learned with my friend and colleague, Leonardo Leitch, Leo, who is part of the business development team here at Hotmart. Leo has a ton of experience in the digital market and has worked with several different teams in the company, such as marketing, research, and customer success. He developed a methodology with the vital points that every sales page needs to answer. It's worth following Leo's steps if you want to have more success, speed, and ease to scale your campaigns. So, let's go. First of all, we need to think about the copy. That is, the text that folks will read on your sales page. Your message can't leave any room for doubt. For example, when you say that your product is amazing, sleek, and inexpensive, what is amazing? What is sleek? What is inexpensive? Our teacher for the day, Leo, has two tips. Try and cut the adjectives from your sales text and don't be general. For example, you could avoid the word success. What is success for you? Be more specific and explain what success really means in your business. Now, let's talk about your sales methodology. You can apply these tips to eBooks, webinars, and online courses. The first step is to list the main questions that will motivate your persona or your target audience. For example, let's say that you're selling a gourmet cooking course. Can your students earn extra income in the future by taking your course now? Or will they be able to impress their friends with an amazing dinner party? These questions will guide your sales page. Want another example? Leo's team created a fictional sales page for a product they call Zen Baby. The product looks amazing, but it only exists as a test product. Got me? So, as good as what I'm about to explain to you sounds, you can't buy this. The fictional course covers the baby's whole routine, feeding, bathing, parent-child relationship. But what we all know is the reason that gets most people's attention is sleep. Every new parent wants more sleep. For the baby, yeah, but even more for themselves. That's why the main message of the page should be find out how to organize your baby's routine and to make sure that your whole family sleeps more. Sounds good to me. The second strategy of the sales methodology is to create a list of objections. When you promise something to a potential customer, the person will probably have some questions like, what's this guy really telling me? Who is this person to say that they know how to teach me how to take care of my baby? The strategy goes like this. First, you promise the sky, the biggest promise about your product. Second, you take a step back and you recognize the suspicion that people on your page are most likely having, asking them to keep calm and reinforcing the fact that there is a solution to their problem. Third is to tell a story of difficulty or a challenge your persona can identify with. For example, for the Zen Baby course, the sales page talks about parents who are anxious and stressed by their babies crying. Up till now, the idea is to talk with the audience and share some ideas. After generating a connection with them, the sales page needs to show that there is a solution to their problem. And who is the perfect person to offer them help? You. Okay, Roger. But on a sales page, how can you show and convince people of your authority? Leo explains that when building your authority and presenting your credentials, you should tell a little bit about your own experience with a focus on personal stories. How have you helped other people solve this problem already? Real life examples go far in gaining you credibility. Then it's time to offer some practical advice and finally start presenting the product. What's the transformation your course will deliver? 
what's your teaching method like? Every course needs to have a methodology. Here, you'll present this methodology through practical advice. For example, want to reduce your baby's crying? Not only can you help your baby stop crying, but you can improve their overall health with the ancient Indian technique of Shantala massages, a tried and true methodology that has been helping parents and babies sleep more for thousands of years. Did you see what we did there? We're talking about a Shantala course, but the sales pitch treats Shantala as a methodology, not as the final outcome or transformation of the course. The primary focus in the final transformation being promised with the course is all the fantastic sleep that parents and babies are going to get after taking the course and not just an Indian massage technique. The next step is to create indisputable benefits. What do you mean, Roger? In general, a course is divided and sold by focusing on modules, section one, two, three. If it's an ebook, we focus on chapters. For Leo, this is a huge mistake. People are investing in transformation and not a collection of videos. His strategy is to take each part of your course and clarify what the benefit of each module or chapter is. I'll give you an example. In the Zen Baby course, you'll learn how giving your baby a bath can be easier and much more relaxing and how to change diapers twice as fast. These are really just modules one and two. But did you notice how explaining the benefits is a lot more attractive, isn't it? So far, we've talked with the audience and gotten their attention. Talked a little bit about your personal story and real life success and explained the methodology of your course. Now it's time to clarify the technical characteristics of your product. You've convinced the potential customer that you can solve their problem. Now the time has come to explain how to access the course, how long the content will be available for, and more technical details. For example, the Zen Baby course has 12 video classes, PDF materials, and six months of free access. Now your page needs to talk about who your product is really for and who the product is not for. By doing this, you're reinforcing the persona that you've drawn up. Now let's talk about how your methodology already has transformed people's lives. Your page needs to present social proof and success stories. Future buyers need to see how previous customers have been transformed by your product. This is the time for testimonials. Get people who can talk about how your methodology was important for achieving their transformation. Did you just start your business now and don't have customers yet? Leo thinks that it's risky to launch and sell a product without testing or getting social proof first. For those just starting out, he recommends offering a free version to a limited audience and then collecting their success stories for your sales page. To wrap things up, what's the best way to present the price of your product on the sales page? The key thing to think about here is anchoring. The real question is, what is the actual price of your product and why does it cost less than what it's really worth? You need to establish the idea that you're offering something that is absurdly high in value with extra bonuses, special promotions, and exclusive access. This way, the audience feels like the final price of your product is much less than the higher value it's really worth. If a potential buyer is convinced that the price of what you're offering them should be $1,000, then they're gonna be blown away when you tell them that it's only gonna cost them $500. Anchoring. I bet that this strategy has already been successfully used to convince you to buy some things. Pay attention. It works. So, did you like the strategies from Leo on how to create a successful sales page? Do you wanna keep on going with this journey of improving your online business? Then sign up for free for the next edition of Hotmart Masters, which will take place from October 19th to the 23rd, 2020. Just click on the video in the link in the description of this video. I'll see you in the next episode of the Hotmart Masters newscast series. It was great having you. Good luck, and I hope that you have a lot of success building an amazing sales page for your product. Oh, and make sure that you're getting enough sleep. 
If not, I've heard about an Indian massage technique that might help you. See you soon.